Hey, what's up? Hi. Let me get this video going. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. No worries. I thought maybe yeah. there was a mix up. Okay, sick. What's that? I thought maybe there was a mix up, so I was checking in. No, it was my fault because I uh, I had to do some banking and I got stuck. Uh, I got stuck at the bank. It took way <laughs> longer. <laughs> As All right. Things do. Yeah. Um, but yeah, is this cool? Is the audio okay? Yeah. Maybe I'll just jump out into the hallway so I don't annoy people with what I'm talking about. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I was like texting Jen, like, I'm sorry. <laughs> um but yeah thanks for getting the interview i'm stoked yeah thank you for giving up your free time i guess is the words <laughs> oh it's all good it's definitely a uh, part of the mix put out a new record you got lots of people that want to talk to you about it. happy <laughs> to and i realized are you wearing a treadwell shirt i am can you tell yeah i could tell by the little like triangle i was gonna say i bet you he'll know yeah <laughs> that's so sick well, I appreciate it. Thank you. I think you're cutting out a bit. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> I can move. I'm just in a hallway. Let me uh I'll just move outside. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Yeah, classic. <laughs> We're, it's the future, but still we have to we have to deal with. <laughs> It's like on one hand, everything works. And then on the other hand, it's like nothing works. Yeah. You know? <laughs> um, I'm just using data. So I feel like it'll be quicker if I just okay. go outside. Okay. You let me know when you're ready. <laughs> yeah. As long. Are you coming to the show tonight? I went to the show last night, actually. Oh, you did? Sick. Yes. <laughs> I feel like there were so many people that I actually, I'm normally like hanging out at merch and like chatting and meeting everybody. I saw you before the show, you were outside the venue. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Oh, it's Stevis. What up? I'm just doing this interview. This is Stevis in Brooklyn. Hi. Hello. <laughs> I'm just going outside because our phone is not working. And then we'll all jump in a cab and we'll go to the show. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we can go like for that. I want to include all Vancouver. of this in the interview. <laughs> yeah, that that we had just like an easy crew hang. Yeah. Does that work? Is that better? Yes. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> so Here's besides a nice little bench, I'll sit down on. Yeah. It. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Yay, yeah, thank we you. Have, we're, we're kind of taking advantage of the fact that we have uh, two days. It's like normally we don't have something like that, like while on, on tour. It's a good thing it sold out, right? <laughs> I know. It's like perfect. Perfect tour, really. When you think about it, like getting to like tour with our best friends. Everybody wants to come to these shows. And then we get to take advantage of like a beautiful sunny day in Vancouver. Kind of feels like everything's lining up. Awesome. So besides banking, did you get to do anything in Vancouver? Yeah, I spent the whole day actually just like touring around. Uh, we went and like had Super Baba. We got really good coffee. We went to Antisocial Skate Shop. Uh, we went skateboarding at Lee Side, uh, and then went to another skate park. So like two parks in one day. Now I'm doing a fun interview. It's great. <laughs> awesome. So I know you guys played a show last night and what can people expect from the show tonight? Like, how do you mix it up a bit? Uh, I mean, we're going to flip flop too. So Comeback Kid's going to headline. We're going to play uh, right after Misery Signals. So that'll be a little different. I mean, for <laughs> us, our set is exactly the same because Stevis and Katie only know these songs. <laughs> Fair enough. So in some ways it's a little bit limiting but at the other side it's kind of like the whole thing is such like a fun vibe and like a fun energy that I feel like seeing it back to back you'd still be entertained 
all of our moves are fresh. <laughs> I'll probably make different jokes. Cool. So worth going to a second night. You've been to worth the first going night. to both nights. Yes. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So now you guys are out promoting your new album, Psychic Jail Breaks. I want to ask you, like, what would you say the album is about? Um, I mean, the biggest thing that I think Psychic Jailbreak represents is like a perspective shift. I mean, that's the whole idea of that, that like phrase I realized is like about a massive shift in perspective. So for us, like when I wrote that song, I was thinking about it in terms of the idea of time. Like that was the song itself is just about like re, re-understanding or uh, reinterpreting how you view time based on like, you know, what's happening in the universe or what's happening like across, you know, the board. But when I started thinking about it, I was like, oh, the world has undergone a lot of these perspective shifts. And I feel like in the last two years, there's so much, um, you know, like a kind of like a different mindset that people have come under that I feel like has changed. And also I think for the way that Cancer Bats, like, the way that people are going to perceive our band moving forward, like now that Scott's left and we have new members and, you know, we're kind of presenting a different version of the band. So I was like, oh, this is kind of like a cool overarching term uh, for everything that's happening around us right now. Cool. And I know you released a music video for Lonely Bong, which is another song off the album. So I want to talk about it because I've watched it like five times. I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> I love all the little... <laughs> What would you call it like trend things you guys do in it what yeah what would you say was the hardest one because there was like the cinnamon challenge there was the salt <laughs> teens and chugging milk it's funny because some of us i think like the cinnamon challenge didn't bother me but it like really messed with jay but then weirdly he won the saltine one so i was like it's really interesting like mikey was really good at chugging milk so it's like <laughs> funny to like think about like what like there was no one of them that none of us could do it was like everyone had their own hidden talents when it came to like each challenge so yeah it was actually fun because like we were just genuinely genuinely goofing around and like having a blast so <laughs> it kind of made for like a real natural like fun video yeah I think it's fun and then it kind of did it inspire you to create a TikTok or just everyone's we doing TikTok. We actually finally did get on TikTok. <laughs> I yeah. saw that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's also Brooklyn, who you met in the elevator. We've like recruited some younger folks <laughs> to show us the ways. So I think it's also the key is getting like some 30 year olds who understand it, who can guide our, our 40 year old brains into the world of TikTok. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not even on TikTok. That whole world confuses me. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> don't feel actually, too old. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah so another thing about the lonely bong music video is it was like steven's debut kind of so mm -hmm. like did you know going into making the music video that he was going to be in the band because i know there's also the treadwell shirts was that when you knew he was going to be in the band yeah so we we had like a few things and uh we had been talking to steve he was already learning all the songs even when we were in the studio we were talking to Stevis uh, about coming on to play guitar, but we just figured it'd be cool to kind of like wait and like tease it later. Um, and then the the shirt idea came because he and I were chatting so much. I was like, oh, it'd be kind of funny to like kind of throw people off the scent, <laughs> you know, and like make people think that the reason why you and I are talking are just because of like a Treadwell collab and not because you're like gonna play in cancer rats because there's people who would like be asking in the comments of like a post like why are you guys facetiming like is steve's gonna be the new guitar player and i was like no no no, it's because he's <laughs> gonna do this cool shirt with me <laughs> so we did we made a fun little shirt and sold a whole bunch of them so that was cool <laughs> honestly yeah i watched the lonely bong like because you had the little teaser clip and i still thought wade mcneil was going to be in the band <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> I was stoked that Wade was into going along with that joke because I really think it like it makes the whole video. Yeah, <laughs> especially when you bring him back in the middle of the video. Yeah, so like, <laughs> I said no. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I know we kind of briefly touched on Tradewell, which is Treadwell, sorry, which is your clothing line. So if I could ask you, like, why did you come up with Treadwell? 
Um, it's basically, I'm super into motorcycles is like my other hobby passion, uh, thing that I like to do. Um, and I was sort of, this would be like in 2013, 2014, when I was doing a lot of stuff in motorcycles, I was like finding there was like tons of things that I thought was like missing from the like motorcycle world, like kind of like a more fun, positive side to like that whole like brand and like. So like things that I was seeing was always this like rock oh, rock guess and like you know like harsh kind of stuff. So I was like, I'm gonna make some fun t-shirts because I'm not like a serious guy. Like I'm not doing this to like cheat death. I'm just doing it to like goof around with my friends. So I slowly started like making these shirts. Some people were really stoked. And I was like, oh, I could kind of like keep this going and make some other things that I felt like were missing. And so I started making like jackets and like vests and pants and like other stuff like that. And then slowly the company's just like grown and grown and grown. Um, to the point that during the pandemic, like that was my only job was just like doing treadwell, which is great. Awesome. Yeah. I'm guess, wearing it. You're wearing it. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I saw a couple of shirts last night too. So it's I know. Okay. yeah. <laughs> I felt it's I think it's sweet too because there's lots of cool crossover, uh, like kids who are into motorcycles. And now I like selfishly get to talk about motorcycles all the time. So it's really fun. Also, I know nothing about motorcycles, so I'm not even going to ask. <laughs> <laughs> They're great. That's all you need to know. Awesome. So I know, speaking of t-shirts, I've kind of seen in photos and even last night, you've been wearing the Dooms Children shirt, which is... Oh, yeah. Nice. Are you going to be doing that old tour or is it... I just haven't noticed that you're not wearing it at shows. <laughs> no, I'm a pretty, I'm a pretty one shirt for the whole tour kind of guy, save on laundry, but especially when it's such a kick-ass shirt like that, like, oh, I definitely want to wear this every night. Like Wade's like one of my best friends. The shirt looks cool. It's just a no brainer. <laughs> awesome. So I know um, you guys recently just came out with your own coffee, which is based off of the song Pressure Mind. So it's called Pressure Mind. So I want to ask like how much, what's the word for it? Like how much insight did you have into making the coffee? Like, did you get to decide what kind of grounds they use or you just slapped your name mm. on it? <laughs> no, I, uh, I'm really good friends with the, the folks that anchored. Uh, Dean is like, like a really good buddy. And we actually made a coffee before for Treadwell. Uh, so that was kind of like the roast that I based the pressure mind off of. So it's like a really nice, like, Guatemalan Brazilian mix I like like a good coffee that like anyone can drink so it's like that nutty chocolatey it doesn't matter if you drink it with cream or if you drink it on its own it's like it's always going to taste good um so I was like yeah that's like the pressure mind roast we should just do that again um but yeah I really like I love coffee I'm into it I love like nerding out on the whole thing so yeah when it came time to making it I was like I know exactly what roast I would like. <laughs> awesome. So kind of a random question, but since the album's called Psychic Jailbreak, I want to ask, like, who do you think in the band would be the best at breaking out of jail? At breaking out of jail? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. I feel like so. I was like more thinking like, I feel like if Jay was in jail, he'd be like the one to thrive because he like loves working out like he's in prison already. <laughs> He'd be the one who's like, who's like really like getting way more jacked and like making friends. <laughs> Breaking out of jail. Um, I don't know, probably Mikey, because he's so like sweet. Like he's like the gentle giant. So he'd be the guy who'd like, you know, get a cool job, like doing laundry and then just like <laughs> smuggle himself out. And even if they found him, he'd be like, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. So my last question is what's next for you guys? Uh, I mean, next is just tons of touring. I feel like now the world is like opening up more shows are happening and. Oh, I lost you for a second. <laughs> um, yeah, more touring things are happening and all these shows are going great. So we can't wait to just like, you know, be touring this like new lineup and the new album, like everywhere we can. Awesome. Thank you so much for chatting with me. Yeah. It's been a pleasure. I'm happy I got to kind of meet you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and are you coming tonight or no? No, because it's sold out, so I couldn't get in. 
but oh, that's there's okay. More tickets. Really? There's more tickets for tonight. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. released another 100 tickets at the door. Oh, I feel like I didn't see that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like a, because of COVID, like all of the capacities have been like, kind of like botched. So it's technically sold out, but it's technically not sold out. So that's why they were like, we'll release more tickets at the door. Okay. So if you want to come, there's still tickets. I'll try, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Okay, sick. Well, hopefully I'll see you tonight. Okay, have a good one. You too. Bye. Bye.